Cackley and Dave Daly right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. Dave Cackley is over yonder, and we are up to a Wednesday. Yes, thank God. You'll have to forgive me if I'm a little uh, on the slow side today. I might be a little slow on the draw. Had to okay. uh, wake up and take the missus out to Fruitport. She needed to lift out to school because she took some of the uh, some of the uh, Utes down to Dallas for a competition that they're in, and uh, here I am home alone till Sunday. Oh, I know. look at you, a bachelor. Okay? Huh? A bachelor. I know it. Yep. I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to sustain myself. I'm going to figure out how to, I'm going to have to behave. I, I, I've been known to uh, eat the garbage and chew up the shoes when I'm home alone. <laughs> so. Don't, doesn't she hire somebody to come in and watch you? No. Just, no. you know, we, make we got sure past that a couple of years ago. No, yeah. Okay, good. Right. <laughs> but uh, no, it's a fun competition, and you know she. Yeah. With, and and you know those students, if they if they work their way up to it, and they've they've earned their way into a national comp competition, good, go do it. Right, absolutely. Strut your, strut your stuff and make us proud. Come on back and uh, do it. I've been on a couple of them with her. Um, yeah. A few years ago, they had their national competition in New York, so it's like, hey, you want a chaperone? <laughs> yeah. New York trip to New York? Sure, right. why not, sure. honey? Sure. I'm there for you. Cost of a, uh, and, and you know, what's it cost me? Just a flight? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. So let's go. But this year, you know, we got a few things going on. So. Right. Yeah. I have to You're stay a bit home busy. Keep the fire lit, as they say. Right. So that's what there I'm you doing. go. Good for you. <clears throat> but I am on the tired side since I had to get up okay. at three. And <clears throat> wah, 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 wah. Yeah, you know, that's what I do, man. I give. And I all oh, look at you, mm -hmm. drinking a muscle milk. A little protein in the morning. That's great, because you're so because you're so muscular. <laughs> <sighs> Tastes like a dog's ass, but uh, how would you know? Uh, because I've tasted one. It's kind of gross. Oh, gross. Yeah, you know, just you, things I didn't you know about. Dave, you you experiment two. in college, man. You experiment <laughs> in college. You know, you don't know what you're, <laughs> don't know what you're looking for. You're so disgusting. Oh, my God. Oh, well. I'm sure you've got all kinds of great news that we're going to be excited about, and yeah. nobody in the world's on the edge or anything like that. So why don't you just go ahead and roll it, and I'll, I'll listen, and I may interject. I may take it back. Okay. We'll see. All right, whatever. All right. All right. President Trump announced on Tuesday that the U.S. would withdraw from the 2015 Iran nuclear agreement. The U.S. will also reimpose the sanctions on Iran that existed before the deal, France, Germany, and Great Britain will remain in the deal with Iran. A um, couple of different ways to look at this. This was a campaign promise. He did follow through on it. It was a bad deal. But what does this mean? I mean, could, could Iran retaliate against Israel? Could they kick out the inspectors? Uh, could this destabilize things? A, a lot of different things. I don't I don't know if this was the, the right or the wrong call. And I don't even think most experts know if this was the right or the wrong call. We're going to have to kind of wait and see. Uh, how this shakes out. I I myself wasn't too thrilled to watch them light up an American flag in the Iranian. Uh, but, you know, that's what they do. They do okay. that every Tuesday. Well, but I'm just... <laughs> it's I'm just, Iran. Hey, you're out there saying you don't know. I'm saying I don't know. I'm just saying what I've right. seen. And so far, it's not been exactly what I'd like. And the other thing I didn't really care for either was uh, Trump's comment about uh, Germany better start rethinking about any business they're doing in Iran too quick. It's like, dude... You know, is he's, he's, he trying to alienate everybody we work with? No. Do you know what I think he's doing? And I'm just trying to I'm trying to be the cockeyed optimist here. OK, I think he's he's being the alpha dog. Yeah, he's being the alpha dog. He's saying, don't F around. Um, okay. Now, there are some possible negative consequences yeah. that come with acting like that. But it could also be a positive thing. Like once again, we don't know how this is going to shake out as far as aggravating or or making Iran making the the less mo there are no moderate factions in Iran. It's a terrorist state, so uh, I don't know how you're gonna how you're going to piss them off more. Uh, so I'm not really worried about that. I am concerned with with these other countries, and I'm concerned with our our relationships with our allies. How it affects that more so really than iran that's that's the way i look at it but once again i'm, I'm gonna just i'll take a wait and see approach like i do right. with everything else and i'm not gonna pretend like the sky is falling 
Okay. A lot of people like to just go insane one way or the other saying, oh, this is the greatest thing ever. Yeah, it's about time. Hey, you don't know if this is a great deal. You right. also don't know if it's a bad deal. Let's wait. There you have it. Patient. Dave Cackley, 5'9", 2018, now America's Voice of Reason. Absolutely. Thank Somebody's got to do it. Nobody else is taking the lead. That's you. Jesus. All right, a high school in New Jersey, downshifting a bit from uh, potential nuclear holocaust to cheerleading. Uh, anyway, this high school is facing heat from parents and students over its new cheerleading policy. The new policy, everyone makes the squad or no one does. The uh, goal was apparently to make the squad more inclusive. Some parents say uh, when they complain, the principal threatened to disband the cheerleading squad. The board is reviewing the policy. Evidently, this came from some parent who's either daughter, I assume, whose daughter didn't make it, was all upset. So, okay, well, your daughter can make the team. Kids, got, kids learn from failure. Yeah. You fail at something, you, you, you work at it, you get better. Maybe you make it next year, maybe you don't, but you learn something from it. Okay. I and mean, let's, let's stop. Let's, uh, your kid, it's ridiculous what we do with a lot of children. Um, I know you can, you, can, you can go overboard the other way too with criticism, but I mean, it, come on. Not everybody makes the team. Not everybody can, not everybody can be head cheerleader. Marsha right. Brady found that out in at least one episode of the Brady Bunch. You she know, didn't make it. What did she do? Did she cry and complain? Yes, she did. But then, um, you know, Mike and uh, Carol had a talk with her and everything was fine. So that's how it worked. Suck it up, thinking, children. Too. You know, you know who my favorite cheerleaders were of all time? Go ahead. Uh, the ones in Wildcats with Goldie Hawn. Oh, you know what? Best Not cheerleaders bad. ever. Not bad. I mean, they're no, they're no Dallas Cowboy or oh, Raider no, Rats. They, they, but I mean, uh, you got to talk cheerleaders and you got to talk real cheerleaders. I'm talking movie cheerleaders. Movie okay. cheerleaders, hands down, Wildcats was the best one ever. That's you know what? <sighs> Can't be argued. It's hard to argue against that. It's hard to argue against that. It's, U-G-L-Y, you ain't got no ain't alibi, got no you alibi, ugly. You ugly. What, what? Yeah, you ugly. Yeah, you ugly. That was, yeah okay. you, you cannot top that. And then okay, when Nipsey right. Russell announced the uh, end of the <laughs> peanut brittle sale, that's forward momentum right there in school. I forgot Nipsey was in that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, where else have I seen him except on the match game? That's oh, right. yeah. Nipsey Russell. Nipsey Russell co-starring with Goldie Hawn. And what Wild a great Kid. old movie. Woody Harrelson, <laughs> Wesley Snipes. Oh, man. God, I got to watch that again. That was Wild good. Wildcats. I'm trying to think of another great movie cheerleading. Other than like Bring It On. I, I You know, that I believe was yeah, all Bring about it cheerleading. Bring It On was all about cheerleaders. Um, so, yeah. I'm, the, we need another good cheerleading movie. I believe that. And I'm not. I'm not. I'm not being facetious at Let's all. I really one. think I would like to see uh, you and I make a cheerleading movie. I think we should. Yeah. Yeah. That, that doesn't have a lawsuit written all over it at all. No, it would be, it? It'd be no, great. No, it would be, we can call it haphazard cheerleader starring Andy and Dave. There you go. Yeah. I'll be, we'll I'll be the one at the bottom of the pyramid. I'll be the anchor, <laughs> you know? Yeah, there you, yeah, you have to, That's you're, you're not going on my show. I mean, I've been working out. I'm pretty strong now, but I, I can't, yeah, and if yeah, you're drinking I, muscle I, I milk, need to, you know, you've, I need you've to drink really about got, nine yeah, I know, see? <laughs> yeah, nine cases of this. Oh, you have nine bad, cases of good. that? No, I said I would need to drink about nine oh, cases okay. of that to put you on my shoulders. Right. All right. Finally, voters in Muskegon County approved a $6.9 million bond proposal for Holton Public Schools. This will help support equipment and facility upgrades. Final tally was 297 to 238. Uh a little Good disappointed for them, I Orchard guess. View didn't get theirs to pass yesterday. Um, Orchard View, they were looking for like $3 million bucks, and it would have cost everybody $50 a year or so to yeah. get them the school it's, improvements they needed. And they needed $20 million. They could have gotten by on three, and the voters out there right. said no. And I, you know, I, I, yeah. Dude, I'm here to tell I, you what. Never had kids of my own. I have never once voted against what a school has asked for um, because okay. – you know, it's not about paying for your kids to go to school. It's about paying for the the overall good of the community's kids mm -hmm. to be educated. And right, uh, you know, good for Holton. I'm with I'm with I, you for the most part. I I have always voted to approve school millages, but I do understand the other side. Like, you know what? We're 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 tired of our taxes constantly going, and I'm not a homeowner. Right. You know, but we're tired of our property taxes always going up. You know, where where's this money really going? What you know, there are questions and I get that. I 
but at the end of the day, I, I pretty much uh, roll with you. It's, yeah. It's not, it's not enough to raise a stink over, it, it's, you know, it's not enough out of your pocket. So yeah, why not? Well, I, agree. I, I, w- I was really disappointed because it, it was just, they, they, they just asked for the bare essentials and mm-hmm. they said no. So uh, kind of a letdown. Uh, people are prioritizing other things. Evidently. Yeah. I don't know. Sports tigers. They win yes, one in a row. Did. Beat yeah. the Rangers seven to four. 15 and 20 on the air. Not far off. They're going to play they're going to play 6 games for you to win your bet. They have to play 6 games above 500 for the last what 135 games, 136 games. My Piece math may be Dirt off a little bit this one. Yeah. <laughs> we might not after win. the game last night. I do that. You know, I I teleport yeah. and telepathically uh, communicate with people. Yeah. Talk to Guardy last night. We're all set. <laughs> Yeah, good luck with that. Okay. Cubs win, Cubs win, Cubs win. They beat the Marlins four to three. You know what? Seriously, and I, I'm curious about this. If you're a Muskegon resident, just be a Cubs fan. No. Uh, you know, why mess around with the Tigers? Tigers are way over. You're, you're at, you're closer to Chicago than you are Detroit anyway. No, no, no. Screw the National Tigers. League. Jump you on the be Cubs. an American League fan. Who wants to be a jump, National League fan? National League is kind of weird. Yeah, National League where the pitchers actually have to hit. No, I appreciate no, no. National, National League baseball. weird. Go with the American oh, League. On. Let's have a designated hitter where, the, you know, yeah. he doesn't have to do anything. Oh, he sucks in the field? Oh, we'll, we'll just let him hit. Yeah, that's the idea. That's, and then, that's and then what... we'll bring in a pitch run, pit, uh, pinch runner for him. Yeah. No, uh, come cool. on. American League. That's what it's all about. See, and you know what I even like about that's... it? I like the first word, American League. Makes mm. you feel good, doesn't it? Makes you feel proud. Get no, you or up. you could go with national pride. No. I'm no, just no. Not national saying. I'm... Whatever. All right, that's sports. All right, get out of here. We'll see you. See you.